Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my very favourite tried, tested and verified sunscreens for oily and acne prone skin. This is something I've been wanting to share for quite some time but I wanted to give it a little bit of time and thought so I could try out some new sunscreens, make sure there's a little bit of something here for everyone. I have super oily, blemish and acne prone skin and so sometimes it can be really difficult to find a sunscreen which will work, give me all that gorgeous locked in protection but won't break me out or feeling like you know I'm greasy or shiny throughout the day. Do not worry, if that sounds like something you're struggling with, I've got you covered in this video. I've got a little something for every price point and every skin tone. So, if you want to find out the best SPFs for oily, acne-prone skin, keep on watching. As I said, this is my skin type, so I totally, totally know the challenges. And when I was growing up in my teens, I used to avoid using sunscreen just because I worried it would break me out. When you've got super active acne and breakouts, it can be a little bit confusing to know whether it's the sunscreen which might be causing some of that. I I always reach out and say to people, sunscreen is so, so important in your skincare routine, whether you have the driest skin possible or the most oily, acne prone like myself. And finding the right one applies no matter what your skin type. Over time, I found some amazing sunscreens which won't clog the pores, won't break you out, won't leave you feeling like you're wearing a mask, which can be so off-putting if you have really oily skin. And the best bit is all of my recommendations today are entirely cruelty-free, so it's a ding, ding, ding before you start. I would love to know below any extra recommendations recommendations that you have, any that you want to share with me. And do not worry, if you have very dry skin or sensitive skin, I've got two videos dedicated to sunscreens for those skin types coming up in the next week. So watch out for them. Now I have a whole lot of product and brands to get through here. So I think it's about time I cut the waffle and just get straight on into it. But I want to start with Supergoop. Supergoop are a brand I probably don't give enough love to on this channel. I know everybody else fangirls hard over them and I do like a lot of their products. They launched about three years ago to like a huge burst of publicity and their original sunscreen, the Unseen sunscreen, went viral literally overnight and everybody loved it. I really, really like that product, but I find that just that one and all the others in their collection actually work really well for oily skin. I think it's a myth, or there's certainly a myth out there, that mineral sunscreens are better for people with oily and blemish prone skin. That's just not the case. It all comes down to the formulation and the other ingredients used in products. I can't sit here and say if you have oily or acne prone skin, you're better with a mineral sunscreen or chemical sunscreen because it really depends on the product itself. I found that all of the um, Supergoop sunscreens worked really well for my oily, acne-prone skin, but if I had to call out two, because they now have about 10 different products, I would call out the original, the OG Holy Grail Unseen Sunscreen, which is a chemical sunscreen that works really, really well. It doesn't. It basically feels like you're not wearing anything on the skin, which is so refreshing when it comes to sunscreen, but also, after a day of reapplying it, you take it all off, and there's none of those pesky white heads that have appeared. You don't have more black heads off feel like your skin is really congested. I also love their zinc screen which is the mineral equivalent. This one is slightly different in that it has a little bit of a pink tint to it. That's to offset some of the white cast that you could get. Works beautifully on my skin tone and for anyone my skin tone or lighter I think this could be a fantastic option. Whereas the unseen sunscreen I mentioned earlier will work for every skin tone I think that the zinc screen is really for people my skin tone or lighter because I think that slightly pink hue that it's got won't work well on those deeper, darker and richer skin tones. I think that's a little bit disappointing and I hope over time that um, Supergoop will come up with an equivalent for darker skin tones because I think that would just make the whole thing a little bit more inclusive but for my skin tone or lighter that's a really really fantastic option. I've linked both of these below if you do want to check them out in more detail or get your hands on them and I will do that for all of the products mentioned but that's my first recommendation and honestly if you haven't checked out Supergoop they're not the cheapest product out there but they're such a well formulated brand and entirely cruelty free and I love all of the sunscreens I've tried. Now I'm going to move on to something that is truly drugstore to its core and it's this. This is the Ultraist face fluid. Now I've talked about Ultraist sunscreens on the channel before and I'll leave a link to a full review I did of them up there if you do want to check them out in more detail. Of all of them I tried, most of them actually worked for my oily acne prone skin but I think this one was probably the best. Unfortunately, it is slightly more expensive than some of the other ones. And this size, whilst it'll last me probably about two weeks on every single day usage, I'd say it comes in at around the £7, €8 Euros price point. That's absolutely fantastic. And it's not breaking the bank by any stretch. But unfortunately, the one I prefer out of their whole range is the most expensive. This goes on, again, with a beautiful light coverage. It's hybrid, so it has a blend of mineral and chemical filters, which is great. And honestly, the UVA index, that's the one that ages you. Those raise age you, UVB burn you. The UVA rating on this is honestly 
through the roof. One of the best I've ever seen on the market. And that alone, I think, justifies a place in this video. Won't break you out and great for those oily skin days. Now, I've got a couple of Asian product mentions that I want to call out. One from Korea and one from Japan. If you guys have watched Mad About Skin, the channel, for any amount of time, you've probably heard me fangirl about these already. But first up is the Biore UV Essence. I love this and the reason I adore this for my oily skin is it's packed full of alcohol. Now most people go, <gasps> alcohol, that's terrible. And I know that drying alcohols have a bad reputation when it comes to skincare. However, this has never dried my skin out because I'm super oily and that alcohol allows you to have a really high SPF, but also in a gorgeous, light, silky application. This glides onto the skin. It is beautiful. It feels beautiful all day long. It gives you that locked in protection because it's tried and independently verified and I just think that alcohol makes it so much more pleasant for someone like me that has quite oily skin. It will keep you matte pretty much throughout the day and as you reapply it again it just reinforces that matte look on the skin which I love. It doesn't strip and dry like you might think it would so I would just caution though if you have very dry skin this might not be the product for you. Though when I said that last time in a previous video so many people with dry skin reached out in the comments to say actually they use this with total success so I wouldn't say definitely don't use it but maybe try it before you commit to buying multiple of it. But for oily skin, total holy grail. This is a chemical sunscreen, but if you want a mineral equivalent from um, the Asian continent, I would go for this, the Make Prem UV Defense Me Fluid. This is a Korean brand. Again, they've released their testing on this product, so you know you're getting that SPF value which they're advertising. And I love this. This is a mineral sunscreen, whereas the Biore one is a chemical sunscreen. This though is matte for days. So if you struggle, if you've tried every sunscreen out there and all of them still leave you feeling a little bit greasy, a little bit, you know, shiny throughout the day and you would just want that deadpan matte, this is your product, honestly. I love this just for that reason. In the summer, I can sometimes feel so, so greasy and like any makeup that you've put is just sliding off the skin an hour after application. You feel like you look sweaty even though you're not. It's all, it's all part of the charm of, you know, living with oily, acne prone skin. This doesn't cock the pores and it will leave you deadpan matte all day long. I do find, now I find this is a little bit difficult to remove in the evening, so you might want to do a double cleanse if you use this product. Though I have heard for other people anecdotally who said actually find it quite easy to remove from the skin. So I think like with all skincare, it depends on your specific skin, your skin type and how you've applied it. But I find that sometimes I do need to do a double cleanse to fully remove this product, but it never leaves me with those white heads, black heads or any breakouts. This has saved me on so, so many summers and I would definitely recommend it for people that are looking for that dead pan matte look all day long. This has got you covered. Now, one thing that people that have oily and acne prone skin often look for is multifunctional products. That's because when we layer skincare, it can often feel like we're wearing a mask. And as that oil breaks through, it can just be a bit uncomfortable and feel a little bit like we're weighed down. So it's often quite nice to reach for products that have multiple purposes to the multiple active ingredients. And that way you're minimizing the total number of steps in your routine. I know a lot of people with very oily skin that literally just cleanse on the morning, throw their sunscreen on and walk out that door because that gives the best overall Feel throughout the day without feeling weighed down. But if that's you, I found a product that I think would work so well and it's drugstore priced to perfection. And that is the Acure Day Fluid. This is an SPF 30, which is available in the drugstores over in the US and in Canada. I've left some links to where you can purchase it below. It can be a little bit difficult to get here in the UK. I had mine imported and it cost a little bit more because you have to pay for that shipping. But I think it's still super valuable and really worth it for your skincare. The reason I'm calling this one out amongst all the other multi-action um, sunscreens is because this has turmeric, vitamin C, and it's also packed full of antioxidants. Those three things are so good if you're suffering from hyperpigmentation, from fading acne marks, and also any acne scarring. The turmeric is gonna to help to brighten the areas where there's excess pigment, and you're also gonna get that from the vitamin C. So you could legitimately just cleanse, throw this on and note that you've got a really nice brightening um, element to your skincare routine. You've got a fantastic protection from the SPF and you've got some antioxidants to just double down on that protection. This is a fantastic dupe for the Face Theory Amyl C Whip, which I love. Slightly more expensive, but is also much more accessible here in Europe and the UK. So I would say if you're over in the States, this is one to definitely try. It's a fantastic dupe for um, the Amyl C Whip that I just mentioned that is an SPF of 20, whereas the Acura is an SPF of 30. So you're just getting that extra protection. Here in the UK and Europe, if you want a close dupe, you can get the Amal C Whip. Now, 
What about the body? We all seem to forget the body. Now, it seems like often if you don't suffer with it, you forget that you can be breakout prone on the chest and back. And you can also have really oily skin on that chest decolletage area on the back and the shoulders. This can make it really difficult to choose a sunscreen for the body because in summer, we do want to show these areas off. Maybe we're on the beach. Maybe we're living our best life. But we do want to reach for a sunscreen that isn't going to cause that chest and back acne. I've suffered with acne on my chest, less so on my back, but on my chest for years and years and years. And if I use the wrong product, it honestly, it can just leave me really broken out and just lacking in that confidence like I don't want to share that area off. Nobody wants to live in a t-shirt when they're enjoying the sun and so I've got a product recommendation that I'm going to call out. This is the Josie Moran Body Butter. Now body butter usually leaves people with oily skin running for the hills like who wants a body butter when you've got oily skin? But actually this works so so well. This is an SPF of 45 in a mineral base which I love. It's also going to give you that gorgeous hydration but without breaking you out. We all want our you know our body area to look its best, to be glowing to the gods and, you know, us to be proud to show our skin off. And this, I think, has really helped me to achieve that. It doesn't break you out, won't clog the pores, won't cause chest and back acne, but it will give you that locked in protection and also make sure that the area still stays matte. It's great because it, that matte finish does make it a little bit more water resistant than some other products out there. So if you're in and out of the pool, I would still recommend that you reapply after swimming. But for that time when you're walking from the pool to your sun lounger, maybe you stop for a little mojito on the way or whatever, it's still got you covered because it has got that built-in water resistance. I love the Josie Moran collection. I will call it out. It's not the cheapest product out there. But I buy one bottle of this a year. And because I don't go, you know, I don't go swimming, I don't go to the beach that often, I find that one bottle will last me a full year and then I repurchase another one for the following year. This gorgeous to use and also the one for the face they do a tinted face SPF of SPF 47 very specific number but I like that they've done the testing and they're calling out the average results from that testing so you know exactly what SPF you're getting and that tint is beautiful on my skin I'm gonna give a big thanks to Jenny who actually recommend this product she's a fantastic subscriber and supporter of the channel she recommended this product and honestly it's my holy grail sometimes I will actually layer it on top of another sunscreen just because I love the finish of this so much and that tint works beautifully as with all tints, it's specific to skin tone. And I'd say this would work really well for my skin tone. But if you're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, deeper in your skin tone, it might not work as well. But if you're at my skin tone or around that, this could be a really nice option. But the body butter packed with argan oil, moisturized to the gods, but also not break you out and give you that gorgeous protection. Now, before I leave you, I want to call quickly call out a couple of honorable mentions. The Ren Clean Screen Sunscreen. Gorgeous used it, raved about it before, so, so good. Mineral sunscreen, won't leave a white cast and just delivers everything you want. Great if you're looking for the clean badge on a product. I don't necessarily buy into the clean um, skincare trend, but this is a great option if you do. And this is probably the best of the ones that I've tried. I also wanna call out La Roche-Posé. Now I've left this to the end because La Roche-Posé are not an entirely cruelty-free brand. And I said that all the recommendations that I'd make today were. Now, they have confirmed to me and I got an email me email from them and they said they do not test on animals themselves but they do sell into mainland China into physical stores where testing is mandated by the Chinese government. They said that they're going to work with the Chinese government around the workarounds which they've said that they can apply for this year so most of their products will no longer be tested on animals by the end of this year. However, that workaround that China has given does not apply to sunscreens. And so that's something to bear in mind. The only reason I'm calling them out is because their Effaclar Duo sunscreen was my holy grail in my teens. This was the only product I found that actually helped fade acne marks as well as provide that sunscreen. It doesn't cost the earth, but it is so, so good on the skin. So I am calling this out. Whilst it's not an entirely cruelty free and I've explained that elements around it, you need to make your own decision on that. It was the one that I reached for time and time again. And if you're, you know, if you know like a teenager or someone in their early twenties that's struggling with real hormonal acne, this could be a really, really fantastic product for them, which is why I want to give them a mention. So there you have it guys, the rundown of my favorite sunscreens for that oily, blemish prone, acne prone skin. I know how difficult it is. I've suffered with this all my life. I'm in my mid thirties and I'm still breaking out. And yet I do honestly believe there's a sunscreen out there for everyone. So hopefully this has just inspired you to maybe try some other brands you haven't heard of or look at some products that are going to deliver that cruelty free yet non pork clogging when I get my words out protection that's locked in and verified. I've left all the links to the products mentioned today along with any information regarding testing and all that good stuff if you do want to explore it in a little more detail. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.